When I first started hunting behind a camera, this was 20 years ago, I didn't know what I was doing. And it was a lot of, you know, learn as you go type of thing. One bit of advice that the late, great Charlie Elsheimer gave me is, if you're gonna try to film yourself hunt, you know, you have to invest in some decent equipment. And I had not done that originally. I was using stuff actually from the local drugstore. You might have found like these, these camera arms at the local department store. They weren't very good and you really couldn't get the job done with them. Things started changing for me and I was more successful in filming my own hunts when I got a better camera arm like this Muddy Outfitter arm. This is a nice arm. Basically what you need when you're hunting is you have to have that camera away from you. And there's a couple things you have to keep in mind that aren't even camera related when you're trying to film your hunt. Number one, you have to limit your shots because you're, a lot of times that deer shows up behind you, I'm not gonna be able to get turned around, get that camera on him, or if he's coming through fast, something like that. So what I do is I pick a couple lanes. If I'm hunting, filming myself, and I know I wanna get this on film, I want to make sure that, okay, I'm either, you know, let's, let's just say I'm up in the stand here, I got a lane there, I got a lane there, and I'm gonna set that camera arm about at waist level so I can adjust it here as I'm watching the deer, as I've got my bow ready, or if I'm gun hunting, and I can just adjust it this way. I shoot it on autofocus, I'll pick those spots out when I get up in the tree, okay, right there, might move it a little bit this way. It really helps having it right there. You almost can call it your right hand man there is basically move it and then make sure when you get up in that stand that I can actually shoot those lanes with the camera there. I've messed up many times. Here shows up there and I want to shoot that's pretty darn close. You know right there I can do it and I have to know that I have to limit my shot there. And I hit, I've done it many times where I've hit the camera either on my draw or my let down. Keep these things in mind and by all means go with quality over something that's cheap and you're really gonna thank yourself in the quality of the product, which is the memory of your hunt. Today we're looking at the new Encounter cellular trail camera from Wild Game Innovations. If you've been looking for a cellular camera that's not gonna break the bank, this might be the one for you. It's highly affordable, it's super easy to use, and you can run it all from your cell phone. What's nice about it, it pairs with the Hunt Smart app from Wild Game Innovations, and you can get images from this camera transferred directly to your phone. You can set it up to give, give you photos any time of the day, or just a couple times a day. What I do is I set it up, I'm testing this camera, I have it set up to send me images first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening. A couple things to keep in mind about this camera is it runs on any US cellular based system with your phone. It does not cost you extra to have that. You can get free service from Wild Game Innovations for three months if you buy a camera. If you buy more than one camera, a lot of guys will buy two or three. You can have almost, I think it's nine months of free service for unlimited use for images. If you want to have unlimited images on just one camera, it's not that expensive. I set mine up for a $10 a month package. It's going to send me more images than I'll know what to do with because I have them set up on strategic trails in the woods. I'm just scouting those areas, looking for specific bucks. The other thing that makes this camera above and beyond is that Hunt Smart app. So many things going on with that app. I can target individual bucks. It identifies deer. It identifies antlerless deer versus antlered bucks. It also gives you weather information all on that Hunt Smart app. You can learn more about the Encounter camera by going to wildgameinnovations.com.